Hello and welcome to The Secret Wealth Project. I'm Matt. Hope you're doing all right. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about shares, okay? So um, I've bought hundreds of thousands of pounds in shares over the years, stocks and shares. Now, I know it's quite fashionable and trendy to talk about Bitcoin and shares are probably not very fashionable. But um, as much as I've not done a video on Bitcoin and I... I'm not saying I have strong feelings one way or the other. I do feel it's a lot riskier than a lot of the people that are talking about Bitcoin think it is. So, I mean, I know it's been on an exponential rise, Bitcoin. Um, but, I mean, you, you get people in both camps. You get people like John McAfee who say it's going to go to $500,000 a Bitcoin real soon. You know, and then you get other people that are a lot more cautious and say, look, it's a bubble waiting to burst. Who knows? One thing I've learned about myself is as much as I'm pretty good with business, um, you can guarantee with, when it comes to investments, because I'm not a full time investor and, and I've, hey, don't get me wrong, I've learned tons over the years, but I've also learned that it is not my strong point to try and time markets. In fact, so much so that I've decided in my older years to not try and ever time markets again. So I don't try and time markets, whether that's real estate or shares. I mean, there's, I've even followed like top kind of um, top so-called advisors and investors like, uh, what's his name, Bert Doman and, um, and, and the Wellington Letter. And I dare say, following the advice of a so-called expert that supposedly timed the market and, and managed to uh, get every market turn right for the last 30 years. Well, while I was following him, he didn't. So um, as far as I'm concerned, you can be selective over how you view the market and how you view your successes and, and failures and stuff. But I didn't make any money following it, him and that is his full-time thing. And I paid good money for his Wellington letter. So I'm not bashing him, but my experience and my opinion of that service was not overly positive to the point whereby if he's a total expert and has supposedly timed the market perfectly and even I can't even make money with his advice, well, then, um, you know, who am, who's little old me to try and time markets? The real reality of it is um, the markets... The, the only people that are able to time the swings of markets and profit from a downward or upward swing are big money players. Um, and there's probably, I don't know, half a dozen of them in the world. And they're the people that can truly move markets and truly time them. Everybody else is kind of at the mercy of it, whether they think they are or not. So I've been thinking the stock market's ready to go bang for a couple of years now, um, really ready to go bang. And, and I piled out of stocks and shares um, and they've gone from strength to strength, it seems. I mean, I don't watch shares on a, on a, I don't even watch them on a monthly basis, but I know um, I've given Holly good advice um, to drip feed the market, and she's done very well from it, and she continues to do very well from it, and I don't listen to my own advice, and I try and time the market, so I'll, I'll pile in with 100K, um, and then, you know, I'll lose 10, 20 K cause I did it at the wrong time and then I'll, I'll pile out and then it, things will go sky high. So I don't like to try, try and time market. So I'm actually going to listen to my own advice for once and I'm going to drip the market. So I'm going to drip feed the market. Okay. Just as I advised Holly to do. Um, and as long as I stop, as long as I don't, um, as long as I continue to drip feed the market when we're in a downturn, this is likely going to be a decent long-term strategy for me, as it has been for Holly, because I won't time in the markets. The idea is um, I'm going to check what the ISA account limits are right now. So in this case, um, ISA in the UK is basically, it stands for Individual Savings Account, I think that's what it stands for. Uh, but basically, it's a tax-free allowance that the government give you to save either in cash or stocks and shares. So in this case, I'm going to open a, a stocks and shares um, kind of managed drip feedy kind of self select ISA thing. I don't know what they call them. <coughs> they change change these names, and people have different names for these services. But I'll, I'll show you what I mean anyway. And I'm I'm, I'm going to look to probably use my ISA limit, uh, which I always used to max out my ISA limit with stocks and shares. But I'm going to do it on a drip feed basis instead of a lump sum basis. Let me show you more. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it will make sense more as we go along. So first things first. And obviously, this will be different if you're in the US. You'll probably have your own 
um, tax-free savings limit. I don't know if you do. I don't know if you call it 401k or if that's like a, a retirement fund or something. I'm not sure. But let's have a look. So I've just Googled ISA account. Uh, let me ISA account limit because these things change. So what we got? So this will do me. Oh, right. Okay. 20,000 is the um, in a cash ISA, an investment ISA, blah, 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 blah. So that's cool. So how much can you put in an ISA? Uh, wow, 20,000. That's bigger than the last time I, I maxed my ISA out. So, right, let's do it then. So let's, let's, let's chuck. Uh, what will that be? Um, let's get a calculator out. It's probably easy math to a lot of you, but I'm not mathematician of the century. Divided by 12. Right, so if I look to put £1,666 a month into an ISA, I will max it out after 12 months, and that's that's what I want to do. So that's what I'll do. I'll look to put around that. Maybe I'll, I'll go with 1650 or something just to keep it round. But Right, so first things first. Now, I've got um, stocks and shares accounts with um, in, Interactive Investor, which is 3i's.co.uk, iii.co.uk. So Interactive Investor, I've got one with TD Waterhouse. Um, I've got one with, uh, it used to be called Self Trade, but they changed the name to Quinn something. I don't know. Um, and I've got what TD Waterhouse. Did I say that one? Uh, I think it is. I, and I've, I've got a couple more here and there anyway. But I'm going to set a new one up so you can watch me do it. I quite like the one that I told Holly to go for. I've not used it, but I said... They, they offered this drip thing, so I know that they do it, and why not? It looks all right. Right, so this is Har Hargreaves Langsdown or hl.co.uk. Right, so I've just had a look what a lifetime ISA is. I don't stay on top of this investment stuff very much. I did, don't get me wrong, I've spent a lot of time reading, learning about investing and stuff. Um, tons of time, but I don't stay on top of it. So this is new to me, this lifetime ISA thing. It's a UK only thing, and it's basically, it's like a kind of hybrid pension thing. Not interested in a pension. My first ever accountant used to swear when you talked about pensions. And again, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice um, at all. So don't listen to me. Like I told you, I told you at the beginning, I'm useless at timing markets. And it's the biggest mistake ever. Um, when it comes to like buying houses and things like that, I think it's always to buy sooner rather than later. If you wait, I've waited years and years and years. And then you can guarantee the moment I'll stop waiting, that's when it goes bang. So chances are the economy will go bang because I'm setting this up because that's usually what happens. But right, let's go for it. So um, I don't want pension. I want a low cost, tax efficient way to invest in funds and shares. Start your ISA online now. Right, here we go. So I'm going to enter these details and I'll be back in a minute because you know I see all this. Right, so I filled all that in and now I'm going to put... Um, Set up regular monthly savings. Now, you could add a cash lump sum, but that's where I think you'll get caught or caught out. For example, let's say I enter, enter, uh, I put added all my £20,000 worth of ISA um, allowance today. Okay, so I could max my ISA out with twenty grand. But then what happens if it goes bang tomorrow, if, if the stock market goes down, I don't know, 25% tomorrow? Then my twenty grand is then worth uh, fifteen grand or whatever it is, so it's worth less because it goes down tomorrow. Now that's where I've made mistakes in in the past. I, I keep saying that I, I've tried to time the market. I've not tried to time the market, but I've entered the market and exited the market at the wrong time. Wrong times, I should say. Um, even when I've been quite conscious of time in the market. So this time I'm I'm going to avoid that instead of thinking, well, I've got twenty grand. I can chuck it in, and if the stock market keeps going, then great. I'm I'm gonna literally listen to my own advice, and if that is that, here's the beauty of dripping it in. And again, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Go do your own research. Go get some expert advice. But if I put a thousand pounds per month into the into this uh, fund, then and then it and like or or let's say, um, yeah yeah, if I put a thousand pounds a month into this. And then it goes bang um, next month, you know. So I've lost some money. The beauty of it is when the, when it goes down and it's dripping in and it's buying th buying funds every month. I'm now buying them at a cheaper price. So over the long term, it works out if you get get what I mean. So as long as you don't bail out when when things go bad, 
and you keep buying, then when things get better, then obviously you'll still be in the market, but you'll be able to buy more for your money because the prices will have gone down. I hope that makes sense. Probably didn't describe it as well as um, I could have, but basically big lump sum I've figured out through nasty experience doesn't work for me. So, so let's go for set up regular monthly savings and then I'm going to fill these things in and then I'll come back to you. Right, so here we go. So online ISA application. Um, it's saying thank you for opening your ISA. Your monthly subscription of £1,666 has been authorised by your bank and your ISA is now open, which is cool. Okay, so next, choose your investments, blah, 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 blah. Right, okay. Um, let's do it. Let's do a bit of this. So, so we can add a fund or we can add a share. Okay, so let's have a look at these. More about fund regular savings. Right, so you can invest monthly in over 2,500 funds. Investing on a regular basis removes the need to worry about when to invest the lump. By investing on a regular basis, you can increase the likelihood of balancing returns over the long term. This is what I was trying to explain a minute ago. Invest from £25. Money will be added to... Um, okay, yeah, so there's no tax on the income, which is cool. Right, and then let's have a look more about equity. So a fund is a fund is where um, you either have a fund manager or um, basically a, a bot that chooses um, shares or, or investments for you, and then you buy into that fund. And then, as a as a collective, when the the investments go up, the fund increases in value or whatever. Basically, I mean, they can work all different kinds of ways, but but that's basically it. So that's a fund. Uh, getting a fund would be be like that. You'd be basically buying a, a, a pool of shares or investments, and when they all go up, you do well, or, or if they pay income or whatever, you get a, a share of that. Whereas equity is individual stocks and shares. So if I wanted to buy into Tesla, then that would be uh, um, I could do a regular purchase into Tesla. So there are some shares that I really like, some companies that I really like. Uh, for example, Tesla, I really like Tesla. Now, I know last I knew their share price was ridiculously high, but I just think he's an absolute superstar. So you never know, I might choose a few um, a few individual shares to drip in over time. Companies like Disney, I really like Disney. I think they do amazing, but again, last time I looked, I've not looked for ages, but last time I looked, they were quite high as well. So if I do do individual shares, it'll only be little bits and bobs, but I'll have to look at the trading fees and see what, Hargreaves Lansdowne will charge me for doing that. That uh, those purchases. Right, let's do it then. So let's. If I'm going to click decide later, so we can go into the dashboard and do it there. Now we're going to decide later. So we're going to hold as cash and invest later. There we go. Right. So access your new account online. Register to access your new account online by phone. Do you already have a, an account with Hargreaves Lansdowne? No, I don't already have one. Right, so I've filled all that in, and now it, I don't know if this is an ad block thing, I've just paused ad block, but it's not good, this, what's it doing, let's have a look, so I'm just going to give them a quick call, and see what happens. Good afternoon, how are Lansdowne, Joe speaking, how can I help? Hello, I've just tried to set up an account with Hargreaves Lansdowne, and um, the last page didn't show up, and then I've just tried to log in, and it, it hasn't worked, so I'm not sure what's happening. Just going to have a look, sir, and see what I can find. Thank you. That's a problem, not a problem. Right, okay, so you won't have seen that because I just went and checked my emails, but basically, um, I should have chose the funds and stuff that I wanted to buy before I set up the account. I thought... I would set up the account, it'd be more interesting to look at the back end of Hargreaves Lansdowne, so your actual account that you see when you've signed up. But unfortunately, it's not going to let me do that. The email says that they can take like up to one working day to open the account. So I'll probably create a, a follow-up video to this if you guys are interested, whereby I'll actually choose some funds and some shares and things like that. So you'll actually see the whole process from start to finish. So I suppose this video uh, should be appropriately named setting up a uh, Hargreaves Lansdowne um, Stocks and Shares ISA or whatever it, it's called. Uh, but sorry, I couldn't show you the back end of it or actually picking the stocks and shares and stuff. But yeah, I'll probably do that in the next video if you want me to. 
So if you're interested in seeing that, give me a thumbs up um, and then you'll have seen that whole process. Obviously, um, it's all right making money, but you've got to kind of keep money and you've got to grow your money and you've got to get your money growing your money and, and over time let it compound. So um, this might be interesting for those are, that are interested in stocks and shares and stuff. And I have talked about doing this for a, for a while. So yeah, thanks for watching the video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you're not already, please subscribe. Um, if you're not a member of the Secret Wealth Project Facebook group, then you should be. Just go to Facebook and search for Secret Wealth Project. There's a page and a group. Click like on the page. I'll appreciate that very much, but it's the group that's the most interesting thing. There's over 13,000 people in the group as of making this video. I think maybe have we broke 14,000. We can't be far off 14,000. It definitely won't be long. Um, but yeah, it'd be great to have you as a member if you're not already. And yeah, we just talk about making money, making money online, investing, things like that. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot for um, watching. If you want to leave me a comment down below, I'll get back to you and chat with you. I love reading all your comments and stuff. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Matt. This has been The Secret Wealth Project. I'll see you in the next video. And if you guys let me know in the comments, I'll make sure I do a follow-up to this video. So it wasn't just a setup video. It was actually a, a, a full process from start to finish. So if any of you are looking to um, invest a little bit of money, I know Holly invests £100 a month. So it doesn't have to be a whole lot. Um, but it, it, she constantly tells me it was the best thing she ever did because she's literally able to pull tax-free income out of this thing because it's been going up that well. She's made a, a good, good, good chunk of money. I don't know how much, but she's made hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of pounds from, from just £100 a month, and she's not been doing it all that long. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Matt. This has been The Secret Wealth Project. Speak soon. Bye-bye.